Hello everyone, this is Justin Lopez, the floor doctor. And in this demonstration, I'm gonna be showing you how I installed LVT on the wall. LVT usually does go on the ground, but in this case, they wanted to protect the wall from bikes coming down and beating the wall up. So we went with uh, applying LVT four foot in height up the wall. Um, this was something new for me. Uh, it is getting pretty popular, I noticed. So I thought I'd make a video, give a quick demonstration. And um, if you ever run into it, I hope it helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I uh, hope you hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. And I hope this can help someone out. And um, again, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. So here is the hallway that we're going to be installing the LVT on. We're going to be going four foot in height and we're going to be going from wall to wall on both sides. So the first thing we need to do is mark our four foot mark in height. Uh, what I did here is I cut a piece of Schluter metal, kind of went old school here because I didn't have a laser. So basically what you want to do is mark four foot on each end of the wall. Do not mark the middle, just mark the ends of the walls. Now that we have our four foot marks established, we can now snap a line from one end to the next. Here is a view after all the lines have been snapped. Now that all our lines have been snapped, I'm going to be applying contact cement at least one inch below the line. This is going to help the fly tape stick to the wall. Here is a view after all the contact has been applied. Once the contact cement has dried, we are now ready to apply our one inch fly tape underneath the blue line. This here is going to help when we start to apply our metal cap. Now that we have our one inch fly tape all in place, it's time to hang our metal. The metal we're using here is a regular cap metal we use for coving vinyl. When applying your cap metal, make sure you stay underneath your blue line. Also, if you notice, I like to keep my metal corners all in one piece. It helps for a cleaner look in the end. Once all the metal has been put in place, I will go back with the electric tacker and shoot staples in it about every three inches. This is going to help secure our metal from ever popping off. Also, you're going to want to make sure your staples are sunk in all the way. If you have any staples that don't get sunk in all the way, pull them out and re-staple it. Here's a view after all the metal has been put in place. Now we are ready for LVT. The first thing you want to do is get a level. Make sure you have a level straight. I usually find center of the wall and then I'll back check and make sure that I don't have any slivers in the end. And after I find that point, then I'm ready to make my mark. And this will be my starting point. Now that we have our line in place, we are going to spread adhesive, which we used a 373 premium adhesive. And on our trial notch size, we used a 132nd depth by 1 16th width with a 5 64th spacing. Which, if you are familiar with an Armstrong trial, it's going to be the smaller side teeth. So again, you're just going to want to place your first tile right on your line, keeping it nice and straight. And then you're just going to be applying tiles really snug until you get down to where you're cutting in.
Okay, now that we came to a spot where we need to do a cut in, you're just gonna place a tile on top of your other tile, the last tile you placed. You're gonna blue tape it. And once you blue tape it and have it secured, you're gonna use, well, I like to use a scrap piece, a smaller scrap piece, so it's a little more accurate when you're cutting it in in case whatever you're cutting into isn't straight. Um, as you can see here, I'm just going to apply another piece of tile and then just score it. And after I score it, I'm just going to hook it and it should fit in perfectly. And applying this tile here, I just went and measured all my points, applied them on the LVT, cut it out, and it fit perfect. Here I am again, just repeating the same method. Also, after you complete each wall, make sure you go back and you roll it all in. Here is a few more walls I'm demonstrating using the same method.
after using all the methods I've showed, this is our final look. A different company did come in to install the metal corners and the metal base, which they did a really great job in, and I'd like to thank them for that. I'd also like to give a special thanks to my help, uh, Gabriel Arreyes, a um, co-worker of mine who helped me on this project. He did a great job in helping me. He's a great installer and a great guy. Once again, thanks a lot, Gabe, for your help. Thank you.